GZIP, a lossless file compression tool famous for making large chunks of data smaller. The files on a computer are represented by bits on a silicon chip, but they often take up more space than is actually necessary. For example, when you write your screenplay in a text document, you produce a bunch of repeated patterns. Many years ago, computer scientists realized we were wasting space and wrote algorithms like LZ77 to address this problem by looping over the contents of a file to identify repeated sequences that can be replaced with metadata or shorter sequences thus reducing the total amount of bits required to represent the information. Most importantly, no information is lost. This differs from lossy compression algorithms like JPEG, which can make an image file smaller, but information is lost in the process. GZIP was developed by Jean-Louis Gailly and Mark Alder in 1992 because the big evil tech corporations held the patents on existing compression technology. Their implementation is based on the deflate compression algorithm, which is a combination of LZ77 and Huffman coding. GZIP is not the only game in town, and and other formats like zip, 7-zip, and rar solve similar problems. On the web, gzip is the most common way to implement end-to-end -end compression, where a file is compressed on the server, then decompressed by the browser to reduce the amount of data sent over the network. Although Broadly is a newer compression algorithm that's generally superior for files on the web. To get started, open up any Linux machine, where you'll find gzip installed by default as one of the most popular utilities of the GNU project. To compress a file, use the gzip command followed by the file name. That creates a new file ending in .gz that should be significantly smaller. Run the command again with the L flag to print out the compression ratio. The higher the ratio, the more space that was saved. Now, use the D flag to decompress the file back to its original form, or better yet, use the gunzip command. In the real world though, you'll often want to compress multiple files at the same time. Gzip on its own cannot compress an entire directory. For that, you'll need to bring in an archiver like tar. Its name is derived from tape archive, and what it does is take multiple files and combine bind them into a single file known as a tarball. When running the tar command, include the Z flag to automatically compress the archive. Congratulations, you just made a large set of files smaller. This has been gzip in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.